Welcome to my channel, Gender Swap Zone. Her panties were the starting point. I observed the daily ritual of my sister adorning herself in her attire. I'm Chase, and I just entered my fantastic 14 year. My elder sibling, Sophia, has reached the sweet age of 16. My sister and I grew up in the warmth of a modest apartment, our sanctuary since the days of our youth when our father passed away. Our mother, the pillar of our small family, pours her heart into her work, yet her earnings are humble, making the dream of a spacious home just that, a dream. But within the confines of our cozy abode, we found comfort and familiarity. The bedroom we've always shared is snug, a space where whispered secrets and dreams mingle in the quiet hours. Perched on the top bunk, I have my little corner of the world, while my sister claims the realm below, each of us with our own small universe within our shared sky. My sister often greets the dawn before I do, for our above allows but a single soul to don attire at a time. Alas, she lingers in the lavatory, her morning rituals stretching long and leisurely. Each morning, as the sun peeks through the curtains, I find myself mesmerized by the delicate dance of fabric and light on my sister's silhouette. From the cozy cocoon of my top bunk bed, I watch as she adorns herself in a symphony of colors and patterns. Her choice of undergarments becomes a canvas for artistry, each garment a masterpiece in its own right. With each delicate movement, she weaves together hues and designs, creating a tapestry of beauty that captivates my gaze. It's as if she's orchestrating a private fashion show just for me, and I'm spellbound by every moment. Observing her, I can't help but marvel at the elegance that outshines my own humble attire. Her presence radiates charm, effortlessly outshining the simplicity of my wardrobe. In our room's corner lies a bag, a silent testament to generosity, where we deposit garments once cherished, now destined for the charity shop's embrace. Sophia has a habit of filling the container with garments that have grown too snub for her. One day, my gaze was captivated by an exquisite pair of panties resting atop the pile in the bag. They were pristine white, adorned with a vibrant array of floral patterns and crowned with a crimson bow. As Sophia exits the room, having donned her attire, I swiftly descend from my bunk bed and gently retrieve the panties. Their touch is a whisper of softness, a silky caress that enchants the senses. A vision of loveliness, they beckon with an allure I've never known. This longing to don them, inexplicable yet irresistible, tubs at the corners of my curiosity. As I hastily shed my pajamas, slipping into a set that feels like a cloud and looks like a dream, I glance around to find Sophia lingering in the doorway. I thought you had already left, I remark, to which she responds with a casual, I forgot my keys. Her eyes twinkle mischievously as she teases, are you sporting my vintage undies? A wave of scarlet warmth washed over my cheeks as I stammered my defense, I was merely trying them on. Her response came with a gentle smile. They suit you beautifully, she remarked, and with a knowing glance added, you'll find the matching bra in the bag. If you're inclined to give it a go, Chase, I have a hunch you'll appreciate the ensemble, she suggested with a playful tilt of her head. After all, they're quite the pair when worn in tandem. But then again, she paused, a twinkle of mirth in her eyes. Perhaps you're hesitant. Do you reckon it's okay? I hesitated, the words catching in my throat. It's typically for girls. She returned a soft chuckle, her voice laced with understanding. How will you ever grasp the essence of being a girl without slipping into their skin? I've caught your curious glances, you know. It's natural, at your age, for boys to explore. It's just the dance of hormones. Sophia announces her departure, leaving behind a bag brimming with dresses and an assortment of feminine items. Feel free to explore them, Chase. It's entirely your choice, she says before exiting. Now alone, I'm engulfed in hesitation. The allure of trying on her clothes beckons, yet the fact that they're designed for girls gives me pause. Perched on her bunk, I fixate on the bag. A bra catches my eye. Its charm is undeniable. Perhaps I'll slip it on, just for a glimpse in the mirror, just to satisfy my curiosity. Curious, I stand before the mirror, fumbling with the clasps and straps. After a moment of struggle, the garment sits in place. Gazing at my reflection, I see a transformation, soft curves where there were none, giving the illusion of a feminine silhouette. Tentatively, my hands rise to explore the newfound shape, a mix of wonder and amusement in my eyes.
The sensation is incredible as I recline on the bunk bed, savoring the pleasure of wearing such lovely lingerie. My gaze drifts back to the bag, its allure irresistible. I can't help myself, I have to take another look. Unveiling the treasures within the bag felt akin to the joy of Christmas morning. Among the array of enchanting garments, a stunning red dress caught my eye. Its bodice shimmered in satin glory, adorned with delicate shoulder sleeves, while the skirt cascaded in transparent elegance, composed of ethereal chiffon layers that danced with every movement. I have to try it on. Slipping it over my head, I thread my arms through the armholes and pull it down over my bra and panties. It looks beautiful, and I'm thrilled by the sensation of it hugging my legs. The hem stops just above my knees, making it almost a mini dress. I twirl around, feeling playful and admiring my reflection, when I notice my mom watching. I wondered what you were up to, Chase, she says. Sophia told me about your interest. You look lovely, dear. Do you enjoy wearing girly clothes? In a hushed tone, I complimented. They're lovely. My mother, unburdened by shame, reassured me, embrace the beauty of these clothes. There's grace in their femininity, and you, my dear, are the epitome of sweetness. Eagerly, I inquired, may I wear them a while longer? With a tender smile, she responded, if it brings you joy, my child. Her suggestion then came softly, allow me to style your hair, to enhance your charm, transforming you into the fairest of all. To which I replied, with a hopeful gaze, would you, mom? Approach me this solitary instance, she beckons with a whisper, her fingers weaving through my strands like an artisan. With a calm in hand, she deftly divides my tresses, tracing a path from forehead to nape, gathering the locks into twin gatherings that frame my visage. Discovering a spool of pink ribbon, she deftly wraps each cluster, adorning them with boughs that cascade down to my neck. You look absolutely charming, dear, she remarks. Eagerly, I approach the mirror. Mum, look, I exclaim, I appear so adorable. I'm glad you think so, Chase, she responds with a smile. Now I have two delightful daughters. With a gentle nod, she leaves me to my reflection. Eager with anticipation, I couldn't resist the urge to explore the contents of the bag. With a playful glint in my eye, I expressed my desire in my mother. The day was spent in a whirlwind of colors and fabrics as I tried on an array of clothing from the bag, undergarments, dresses, skirts, blouses, and shorts. It was a delightful game of mix and match, creating new ensembles that transformed my appearance. Every now and then, my mother would peek in, offering words of admiration, making me feel cherished with each new outfit I modeled. From that day forward, it was a delightful transformation. Sophia generously offered me her wardrobe of yesteryears, and I embraced each piece with joy. Adorning myself in her collection, I gaze into the mirror, reveling in the feminine grace each garment bestowed upon me. The notion of parting with these treasures to a charity shop was abandoned, they were too dear to my heart. Within the sanctuary of our home, I would don her lovely attire at every opportunity, for they had become my preferred garb, a true reflection of my inner self. My earliest memory is a vivid stroll to the stores, hand in hand with my mother, adorned in the loveliest of garments. That day, I was the epitome of joy, a young girl in her element. The allure of delicate undergarments, dresses blooming with peels, and tops paired with skirts was irresistible. From that moment, my world transformed. Boyish attire lost its appeal, and I found my bliss in the embrace of femininity, all sparked by a simple pair of panties. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found the content valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.